Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at some absolutely massive performance boosts and some amazing progress by reusing this Nintendo Switch emulator. Now before we get started, I have heard you guys asking for videos covering Yuzu, the other Nintendo Switch emulator, and those videos will be uploaded to the channel in the coming days. Okay, let's jump straight into it and take a look at some of the performance improvements we have seen in Ryujinx. Starting things off, the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus has seen an absolutely enormous performance boost. This game has gone from running at about 10 or 15 FPS to running at well over 100 FPS at all times in the past two days. Due to this improved FPS, we actually get a boosted in-game speed and I actually kind of like it. I have played this game quite a bit on many platforms and this increased speed really, really does give you a completely different gameplay experience, which I actually quite enjoy. If you yourself prefer to play this at the original game speed, you can still use a program like RevaTuner Statistics Server or any other frame capping software in order to cap your FPS to 60 in order to maintain 100% or 1x game speed. Next up, we are going to be taking a look at Cave Story Plus. This title is another game that has seen a significant performance boost, especially so in the past three master builds of Ryujinx. When we include all of the UI and rendering fixes we saw to this game in the past few days, this title is now in an absolutely awesome position for playability on this emulator. Next up, let's take a look at Sonic Mania. This title runs so fast at 600 FPS as you can see on screen that I have to use a program called RevaTuner Statistics Server in order to frame cap it to 60 FPS in order to return it to a playable state. As you see, when I apply the 60 FPS frame lock, this game returns to a fully playable locked 60 FPS at all times. This title has gone from running at around 150 to 200 FPS to running at around 550 and 600 FPS practically at all times on my 8700K based PC. This performance optimization means that this title will now run on much slower and much older computers than the one I am using for my testing. Let's move on to our next game title, Puyo Puyo Tetris. As with all of the previous games we have covered, this game is now running well over its frame cap of 60 FPS, meaning it is fully playable in all of its game modes. Being a fairly simplistic 2D game, you would expect it to run at fairly decent performance levels, but it is still nice to see a game like this running in such a great fashion. Next up, let's take a look at the performance in Stardew Valley running in docked configuration. Once again, this game has seen a significant performance uplift. Previously, we were running only at about 2, 3 and 4 FPS in practically every area, while right now we are sometimes hitting the frame limit of 60 FPS in this game. Hopefully, sooner or later they will be able to fix the game being flipped upside down in its non-docked configuration. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at a game called V. This game, which is actually crazy addictive, I haven't been able to put it down since I started playing it, is now running at a fairly consistent and playable frame rate as opposed to how it was when it was first booting in this emulator. There are still some fairly major issues, especially with the UI renderer, but hopefully as with the Stardew Valley issues, those small problems can be ironed out in the coming days and weeks. Next up, let's take a look at Tiny Barbarian DX. Once again, surprise surprise, we have another game that has seen a very significant performance increase on this emulator. We have gone from running this game at around 40 or 50 FPS to running it at well over 140 and 150 FPS practically at all times. The flickering you can currently see on screen is due to the game running at this high frame rate if you limit your game to 60 FPS as I previously showed with RevaTuner Statistics Server, you will be able to play it with absolutely no problems and no visual errors. Let's now take a look at some games which are not currently booting into game, but do indeed go further in their emulation cycle than they previously did. First up, we have Batman The Telltale Series. So as with previous versions of this emulator, Batman The Telltale series currently boots to this screen, however right now it goes even further than it previously did. Previously it would get to that screen and just crash. As you can hear in the background, since we now have an audio renderer present in Ryujinx emulator, this game no longer crashes and actually renders its in-game audio. Due to the fact that we still have unimplemented features, functions and instructions for this game, it currently does not render any visuals. Next up in our game compatibility list, we have SteamWorld Dig 2. While this game's performance is not very good at all, running at about 2 or 3 FPS at any given time, 
it still boots, loads into its menus and loads into game. Let's quickly move on to our final game of this video, Sonic Forces. This title is one of the latest games to boot on Ryujinx the Nintendo Switch emulator. Its current level of bootability and playability however is not very good. While it does load through all of its initial splash screens, once it gets to this area where it's telling us about auto-saving and requiring an online connection, it will not progress any further and will usually just crash. So that's about it for this Ryu Jinx performance and game compatibility video. As always, let me know down in the comments if there are any games you would like me to test out on this emulator, leave a comment down below and if I can get my hands on that select game I will test it absolutely no problem. As I previously said at the start of the video, in the coming days I will be taking a look at Yuzu the other Nintendo Switch emulator. Keep your eyes on the channel for any and all of those videos. So once again guys, cheers for checking out this video, as always remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.